can't read about it. I need to report a homicide. As anyone who has ever watered down their parents' liquor as a teenager to say, sneak a sip or three knows, there is a point when the booze just simply loses its taste. Well, that's what ABC's September 22nd debuting Notorious and the October 3rd premiering Conviction are. Watered down Shonda Rhimes that lack any kick or any taste. The Piper Paradu and Daniel Sunjata starring former is at best coy where it could be curious. And the Haley Atwell led ladder is cliche addled where, well, where it could show some conviction, in fact. Are you ready to do this? In the case of the Josh Berman and Ali Hagen written Notorious, the nowhere near as sharp and sexy as it thinks it is cable TV crossed with the law themed TV show based on TV frequenting attorney Mark Garagos and long term Larry King producer Wendy Walker's relationship is, literally, it's stepping into scandal slot with a 9 p.m. placement between the latest seasons of Grey's Anatomy and How to Get Away with Murder. But Notorious is no stunt double, if you know what I mean, and will undoubtedly show its limitations placed between two shows that truly know who they are and why. That's Notorious, which brings us to Conviction. The director of my citywide Conviction Integrity Unit is also our country's former first daughter. Ladies and gentlemen, Hayes Morrison. Coming off the failed promise of Agent Carter, Atwell was, and actually still is, a star awaiting her star vehicle. But this tale of a decadent former first daughter, think um, Chelsea Clinton spliced with W's daughter Barbara, who escapes jail time for drugs and her politically ambitious mother's further wrath by dusting off her legal training and working on cases where, here it comes, wrongful conviction may have occurred. The Mark Gordon produced drama may be on Mondays at 10 p.m. with a Dancing with the Stars lead in, but its spiky team of supporting players, this baby is all wannabe gladiators. But it lacks an original move of its own and is easily worn out with a backstory that actually serves more as a halting anchor than a launch pad. I hate this job. Fire me. No. What about now? Look, replicating a formula that works, that's big four bread and butter. And Distilled Rhymes has shown varying degrees of promise in the past. We say the almost gimmicky The Catch, which Shondaland produced with ABC Studios. That was renewed. While The Family, which started off well, from former Scandal co-EP Jenna Bonds, stumbled and was shuttered by the network. But as both shows, which had TGIT debuts reveal, the challenge, to put it politely, is to be able to take the helm and head towards the narrative North Star that Rhymes almost innately can find over and over again directionally. No easy task, as any producer, writer, or executive will eventually admit. Or, to paraphrase W.B. Yeats often overquoted The Second Coming, the best that can be said here is that conviction lacks all conviction, while the even worse Notorious lacks even passionate intensity. So maybe this presents a good opportunity for some of you this fall to catch up on the past five seasons of Scandal, until Kerry Washington and the Gladiators are back. And then, as you're watching that, you can see how it's really done notoriously and with conviction. I'm Dominic Patton for Deadline Hollywood. <laughs>